Hello, little one. Hello. Nuki. Bye, we know, we know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're here for the first time. In today's video, we're gonna do these two little guys. We're gonna do some jar organization for your kitchen, but that works as well for your bathroom or any other room where you want to put jars in. So yeah, basically I've seen this somewhere. I don't remember where, but I've seen it somewhere. I thought it was cool, so I thought I would try to do something similar. It was just jars with something written on it. So this is my version of it. And without further ado, let's jump into the project. So here we go. So for this project, you're gonna need jars, ideally the ones with the closing system, but you can also use classic ones like just the bottom bit and the lid. Um, transparent jars, ideally. Then you're gonna need a permanent marker or paint markers, black and white. Then you're gonna need some tape, uh, paper, scissors, and a computer with a printer if you have. If you don't have, then you're gonna just need the same thing, basically. So, for the first step, because I do not have a printer, this is a bit more complicated. Otherwise, for the first step, the idea is just gonna transform this jar and put the name of whatever I'm gonna put inside. So, rice, pasta, because this is for my kitchen. But you could do the same for your bathroom, for instance, and add like elastics or cotton buds or whatever you want to use them for. So because I do not have a printer, I'm going to have to do a step where I'm going to use my computer screen. And thanks to the see-through, I'm going to be able to mark what is on it in the style I want on this paper before I transfer it to there. Um, if you have a printer, just select the, the font that you want and print the word in the size that you want on the jar and that's it, it's done. So now because I do not have a printer, in case you don't have a printer, I'm going to show you now what I'm going to do to get this on the paper. So there is this great website called dafont.com, so D-A-F-O-N-T and .com. On this website, basically, you can find fonts for every type of purpose. You have like medieval or calligraphy or Chinese or um, anything typewriter, pencil, painting, whatever. So I went into the calligraphy section, which is in script. And on there, you have a lot of different calligraphy styles. For this, I chose to use the Hello font. So I downloaded it already and once you're downloading it, you can install it on your computer and from there I'm just going to open a random document, so I'm just going to open InDesign because I had it there. I'm going to write in a text field rice, pasta, then I'm going to change to the font hello, which is the one I selected and then I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, so my font is selected, my text is written, and this is the size that I want. So because I do not have a printer, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my paper on the screen, like this, and then I, you can see through basically, so I'm going to copy basically what is on there. So that would be my number one. Then I'm going to do the pasta. And then I have my pasta ones. I'm going to now do the muesli. So once this is done, you can close your computer, you won't need it anymore. If you can print it instead, it's much better because it's much clearer and more detailed. But anyway, so this is the plan, I don't have a printer, SOS help me. So for this now I'm going to cut each and every one of these individually. So what you're going to then do, you're going to open the jar. You're going to decide where you want to write it. So let's say, oh, I want to have it here in the middle. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it shorter around the, the name like this. Then I'm gonna tape it. So prepare tape. Let's tape it now. So once it's in the middle, what I'm gonna do, oh, first of all, I'm gonna close this because it's keeping moving. Okay, close. So once this is done, tape inside. I'm gonna use my marker, paint marker or permanent marker, whatever you have, and then I'm gonna go over it. So once this is done, I'm going to remove this. Let's go. Come on out. There you go. Used. So now this is done and then I'm going to let it dry for a bit and then I'm going to do a second layer and eventually a third layer to make sure that this is thick enough. While this is drying, I'm going to now do the other ones. So same here, I cut really close to the name of it. I'm going to take tape, up one, two pieces. Then I'm going to hold it where I want it to be and I am going to tape it. Tuck. Done. Closing and let's do it again. layer then I'm gonna remove this there we go and then I'm gonna do my first layer in this one as well it's not straight what are you doing no I pulled it no Okay, let's try again. Done! What a struggle. And with my super permanent marker, round number three. Okay, so I'm gonna let this one dry and I'm gonna continue doing these. So now the final thing is that this one was the, a jar for um, apple mousse. So I think I'm just gonna do like I did in the last video. I'm gonna use my marker to actually color this. And here we go, it's done. As easy as this. Um, now I'm gonna start putting stuff in it and see how it looks. you're going to try it at home to reorganize your kitchen that works really well i will see you then in the next video i hope i'm going to receive whatever i need from amazon because it's still not arrived yet if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like my content in general you can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button right down below and when you click on the scene and when you click on the ring bell sign you're getting notification when i'm posting a new video which is every sunday so you can do that as well that works great otherwise you can just come back every sunday and i love you for that 
I'll see you in the next video and in the meantime be crazy, be creative and be you. Ciao!